A ball fits perfectly into a cubic box. How much empty space is left in the box? We will actually break this problem down into three parts where we will first find the volume of the box, then the volume of the ball, and then finally the volume of the empty space in the box. Because we know we have a cubic box, the length, width, and height are all the same. They are all 11 inches. So let's go ahead and label everything 11 inches. And since the volume of a right rectangular prism is equal to length times width times height, the volume of the box, which we'll call V sub box, is equal to 11 inches times 11 inches times 11 inches, which is equal to 11 cubed, which is equal to 1,331. And because the lengths are in inches, the volume is in cubic inches or inches cubed. So let's go ahead and record this below. And now we will determine the volume of the ball, where the volume of a ball or sphere is equal to four-thirds pi r cubed. So looking at the diagram, because this length is 11 inches, we know the diameter of the ball or sphere is 11 inches, but we need the radius to determine the volume, and the radius is equal to half the diameter, and therefore the radius is equal to 11 inches divided by two, which is equal to 5.5 inches. So the volume of the ball, V sub ball, is equal to four thirds pi times r cubed, where r is 5.5 inches. Now let's determine the exact value, as well as the approximate value, to the nearest hundredth. So going to the calculator, to find the exact value, we first determine the product of four thirds and the cube of 5.5. So we have four divided by three, open parenthesis, 5.5, close parenthesis, raised to the third power, enter. And now let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. Remember this is the product without the pi, and therefore the exact volume is 1,331 divided by six pi cubic inches. But now let's also get the approximate volume to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. We have 1,331 divided by six times pi, enter. Notice how there's a nine in the third decimal place and therefore we round up. The approximate volume is 696.91 cubic inches. So for number two, again, the exact volume is 1,331 divided by six pi cubic inches, which is approximately 696.91 cubic inches. And now for the last step, we will determine the volume of the empty space. To determine the volume of the empty space, we will take the volume of the cubic box and subtract the volume of the ball. So again, the volume of the empty space, we'll call it V sub empty is equal to the volume of the box minus the volume of the ball. So V sub empty is equal to the volume of the box, which is 1,331 cubic inches minus the volume of the ball. And because we're told to round to the nearest hundredth, we can go ahead and use the approximate volume of the ball, which is 696.5. 9.1 cubic inches, but because this is an approximation, we should also change this equal sign to an approximate symbol here. And now let's go back to the calculator and determine this difference. If we did want the exact volume of the empty space, we would have to use the exact volume of the ball, which is this value here. So we have 1,331 minus 696.91, enter. The volume of the empty space is approximately 634.09 cubic inches. I hope you found this helpful.